guys, it's Jenny. Welcome to winter because it feels like it today to me uh, because our heating is out in our house so it's cold and it's like 14 degrees outside. It's a cold day but our theme today is going to be snowflakes. Snowflakes is really fitting for a day like this because I feel like I'm a snowflake right now. <laughs> but a snowflake has a really short life obviously, and we want to have a very long life, which is opposite of that. And the Bible says that if we honor our father and our mother, which is the fifth commandment, that we will have a long life. So that's what we want. We want opposite of a snowflake. So I want to encourage you guys to obey your parents, and I just wanted to ask you, you know, in what ways is it hard for you to obey your parents? And it's something that you need to be praying about. It's something that I would love to pray about for you and with you. And I will leave my email address here in this video description, so please feel free to email me, and I will uh, definitely be praying for you. Okay, guys, are we ready to start our snowflake? All right, let's get started. All right, so we just need today two colors. Yay! No mixing up very many, which is always nice when you can achieve something good with two colors. But I've gone ahead and tried to experiment here for you guys so that I can find the most foolproof way to make a snowflake and make it look good with impact, right? <laughs> so, as you can see, I didn't start the snowflake off with a classic X with a line through it. And I just basically drew those, those lines individually. It worked the best. But as you can see, I'm creating a... I don't, I want to say webbing, but that's, that does not apply when we're talking about snowflakes. So if you can think of a better term, please feel free to share it. <laughs> I guess I can't think of anything beyond that, but okay. So I'm going around here with this blue. If you're wondering how I got the blue, it actually was a soft gel paste blue that I just didn't add a whole lot of, a whole lot to my batter and it just kind of had this light blue. If, I, I will tell you this though, if you add too little of blue, you won't be able to see the difference between the white batter and the blue batter. So you're going to want to have kind of a, you know, almost a medium blue. It look, it's funny because it did, it does look a little bit teal to me, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't a teal color. It was just a blue. But, okay, so I'm filling in the middle of these. I recommend doing that because you want to you don't want, you want to have your, your your snowflake to have as much stability as possible. If you have little tiny lines, they're they're more likely to break when you flip them. So I'm making these dots right here. The dots are going to be decorations. If you guys have candy and you don't want to fuss with this step, go ahead. By all means, do it that way. But for me, I just if I don't have to deal with candy, I don't have to deal with it. I don't have to give it to my kids. So, I prefer the dots, pancake dots. But I will tell you a tip on the dots. Do not flip your dots. There's no reason to flip your dots. Unless something crazy is going on with your batter, you really don't need to flip your dots. As you can see here, I just kind of gather them all up, and it works for me. So, hopefully it works for you. Now, I'm just, see, as I told you, I'm just kind of using this to decorate all those dots are really great for decorating. And that's really about it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you have a much warmer winter than I'm having right now. 